Is it crazy play? I, I can only imagine. Yes, it is a, a crazy play. Is it um, people? <laughs> I think people will be in shock um, in the twentieth minute of the play. Okay. And it would take them to the um, one hour um, twenty, another one hour twenty minutes before they would recover. <laughs> Wow. Okay. <laughs> this is definitely one you know. We're to. taking them on a journey. We're taking them Amazing. on a crazy, crazy journey. Amazing, as you always do. Yeah, but as how you are you doing? Do. Well, I'm blessed. You know, I was looking at the. I was looking at um, the um, the the grooming of Mr. Dabo and then Papaya, uh-huh. and um, I'm not too sure which of them we can choose between the two of them. <laughs> <laughs> if we're to pick best groom. Yes, um, I think that we would have to um, begin to encourage um, uh, Papa Yao. Um, as for Mr. Dabo, we have written him off. We know eh, for him he's off the market, but Papa's own is but, more critical. Uh, so, um, Papa, um, Dan, Dan will be talking to you. Oh, but, but in Papa's defense, he's training for this Saturday's Joy Sports Invitation. Now, you know, he's our lead striker, um, Adenta Alan Shera. <laughs> Hey, Sammy, which question are you asking? You're asking if Malik... No, 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 he doesn't exist. He doesn't exist. Let's talk. Let's talk. No, I said uh, Malik Dabo. Da- Dan, 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 focus, focus. He's on, he's on, on mic, he's so, on so he, does, he doesn't exist. The okay. listeners who didn't know, is it's like um, somebody, you taking your bath and somebody coming to take your clothes and you getting out of the bath to run out. They will say chase. you are the madman. You are the <laughs> Hey, because the listeners are not hearing him, they are hearing you. So okay, okay. don't react. <laughs> don't, I, I, don't react. That's also a lesson in video. One, I, I get it. I get it. Okay, well, what's the best? Then there are things we are bound to experience, but which, given the chance, we we'll all want to avoid experiencing. This is because they are painful, and yet there's very little we can do to avoid them. It is not nice to experience them, but they are part of the human experience. So. Here are 10 experiences that you you definitely will not enjoy, but you cannot avoid. Just note them so that when they happen to you, they do not make you bitter. Here we go. One, people will say false and terrible things about you. You would wish, you would wish that people would say only nice things about you and that when they say bad things about you, it will be because you have done the wrong thing. But the reality of life is that people will say false things about you that are terrible, often with, without any cause. It is useless to ask why they do that. They just do. Prepare your mind for it. Two, you can get into trouble simply by b- being good. When I was a boy, I thought only bad people got into trouble and that they got into trouble for doing bad things. I'm no longer a boy, and I have discovered that in life, you can get into trouble for simply being a good person who wants to see the right thing done. Some people have lost their jobs and have had their reputation destroyed, not because they were bad or incompetent. They lost their jobs because they will not take part in the rot around them. Three, somebody you have not met and have not done anything against would hate you. I send people every quarter to knock on doors selling tickets to my shows. And every quarter, at least one person in the sales team encounters someone who openly says, I hate Uncle Abu White. I hate that man. And in all the cases to date, I have never met those people and have not done anything against them in any way. But this is not about Uncle Abu White alone. This is life. Note it. Someone somewhere you have never met and have never wronged hates you for no good reason. Don't let it upset you. Four, most of those around you have their own selfish reasons for being around you. We love to have people around us. We want to think that those around us love us. But in life, most of those around you have their own selfish reasons for hanging around you. Most of them are clever enough to hide their true intentions, uh, and unfortunately, it is not always easy to see through their insincerity. Five, someone you trust will betray your confidence. We all need people with whom we can be open and share what is 
on our minds and on, in our hearts without having to watch what we are saying. We all need people with whom we can be ourselves completely. It is a human need that we can do very little about. And yet, it is also consistent with the human experience that someone you thought you could trust and to whom you opened your heart completely would betray your trust and confidence and maybe even use what they have come to know about you against you. If this happens to you, just remember that it is life and don't let it make you withdraw into your shell and shut everyone out. Life is about risk and some of those risks will blow up in your face, but it is still worth taking those risks. Six, should you ever get into trouble, some of your friends will turn against you and go out of their way to make your situation worse. Let me give you a few examples. So let your employer fire you. And you'll have people who, thought, who you thought were your friends going to the boss to say things about you that will make the situation worse for you. Let your relationship hit a rough patch. And you'll have someone, some people you thought were your friends going to your partner with stories to ensure that the relationship never recovers. Such is life. When you get into trouble, some people close to you provide those who want to destroy you with some of the ammunition to use against you. Seven, those who say Hosanna or who sing Hosanna to you will soon be saying crucify him. There are things you should always prepare your mind for. For instance, when you find people singing your praises, just know that they are also training their voices to shout crucify him. Those praising you today may be the very people throwing stones at you tomorrow. But that is all part of life. Eight. People you, th you thought you could trust would willfully feed you with wrong information just to get you to do the wrong thing. A former president of Ghana fired one of the most decent and accomplished public servants based on reports, of some, of his ad based on reports some of his advisors gave him. It was only after the president had left office that he discovered that he had been badly misled. Note, it is not only presidents who are misled by their closest advisors. Someone close to you may be feeding you with very false information. Just don't rule this out and protect yourself a little by cross-checking everything you hear from any source. Nine, somebody you have been helping resents the fact that he or she is dependent on you and is bitter. This will come as a shock to many people when they discover that some of the people they are sacrificing for, some of the people they have been going out of their way to help, to help out of, their, of the goodness of their hearts, that some of the people, some of those people hate the fact that they have to depend on them. And anytime you help them, or anytime they come to you and you help them out, they go away resenting the fact that they have to fall on you. Finally, 10. Heal 10 lepers, and only one will return to thank you. In other words, not everyone you help will return to show gratitude. My mother was a very generous woman. She saw every young person as a child and every child as a grandchild, and she would go out of her way to help everyone in need. But the one thing that brought her the most pain was that very few of those she helped returned to express gratitude. Now, this is not limited to my mother. It is part of the human experience. And even Jesus was not spared. Ten lepers approached Jesus and pleaded with him for healing. Jesus, out of compassion, told them what to do, to do for their healing. And while they were in the process of doing it, they discovered that they had been healed. And only one of the ten returned to thank Jesus for the healing. Such is life. Heal ten lepers, and only one will return to show gratitude. But that should not stop you from doing good. And that is the point of this presentation. You should continue helping people. You should continue taking risks with people. You should continue trusting people. You should continue standing against the wrong. Let not what is normal shock or surprise you, or make you less than what you are. And when these things happen to you, remember, life is just happening to you. 
Wow. Thank you so much, Uncle. Well, life is just happening to Life you. is just happening to you. There's nothing new about it. There's nothing new. Don't take it personal. Um, roll with it. And it's good. And the interesting thing is that if you don't let them, these things become make you better, you become better. Beautiful. Beautiful. Okay. Bemakam Sports Complex, the Bemakam Leisure Centre, this Saturday, 25th of May 2019, from 7 a.m. to 6 p.m. for the Joy Sports Invitational. Brought to you by Dule Yogurt. More, more.